WFF 40 is Jeannie Powell live now from Alabama A&M where she's got an expert opinion. Jeannie? Well, Mark and Liz, the professors we spoke with out here mainly focus on freshwater systems, but they have a vested interest into what's happening in the Gulf, and they are particularly concerned about the many ecosystems that are intertwined. These four experts at Alabama A&M's Department of Natural Resources and Environmental Sciences have active projects along Alabama's coast and are keeping a close eye on a problem they say is wide and deep. It's going to impact the entire Gulf of Mexico and maybe more if it uh, goes around the uh, tip of Florida and up the east coast like they uh, are projecting. Dozens of sea turtles have been killed from pollution. Birds who live off the ocean are coated in oil, making it difficult for a feasible escape. When the oil gets in the feathers, uh, they can't fly and they, they can't swim. Fisheries are closed. Animals like beach mice and bats are indirectly affected because the insects they feed on could be contaminated. Ecologists say the majority of species in water and land are vulnerable, whether they're up top or bottom dwellers. The oil floats, so it's going to have an impact on the surface immediately, but uh, tar and sludge, uh, heavier parts of uh, raw crude oil, will sink. You see these ecosystems are interconnected. Take into account plants. Now oil is going to cut off a valuable part of life. We're talking oxygen and water exchange. So they are in the food web, so they are dependent on the plants. So every one of us are depending on you know, the plants. We do have the science and the technology. Hopefully we can use that as something that will uh, minimize the damage uh, that has been already done. If the oil isn't contained soon, it's going to have an impact for decades, maybe up to 50 to 100 years. The department chairman says immediate risk assessment and observation are crucial to saving our Gulf from a domino effect of destruction. And Dr. Tafuri Sagai does stress urgency in this situation because he says this is a public health issue. He says public and private wells need to be inspected for contaminations. Reporting live from Alabama A&M, Jeannie Powell, WAFF 48 News. And today that oil